crucial historic visit being undertaken by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has now embarked on a three-day official visit to Brunei, Dursulam and Singapore. At the invitation of Sultan Haji Hassanel Bolkia, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting Brunei, Darussalam, PM Modi's Brunei visit will be the first ever visit, ever bilateral visit by an Indian Prime Minister. After that, he will travel to Singapore at the invitation of Lawrence Wong, the Prime Minister of Singapore. It is scheduled between 4 to 5 September. Prime Minister will also hold bilateral discussions on all the aspects of relations and cooperation with the Brunei. Brunei is an important partner for India's act East policy and the vision for the Indo-Pacific. Indo Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also hold meetings with Sultan Haji Hassanel Bolkai and other esteemed members of the royal family. In fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken it to the uh, social media to also announce his three-day crucial visit, saying that now he will be visiting Brunei, Darussalam and Singapore during the various engagements. In these nations, the focus will be on further deepening India's ties with these countries. Now, joining me on the broadcast is my guest, Colonel J.S. Sodhi, who is an international affairs expert and Ambassador Suresh K. Goel also. Well, I appreciate you both joining me on the broadcast. We appreciate your presence. Now, um, I'll start first with Ambassador Suresh K. Goel. Very good morning to you, sir. What do you understand uh, as the significance particularly of this very crucial visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, to Brunei and Singapore? And of course, to further deepen the ties of uh, bilateral ties with these nations and the, uh, to make this uh, connections and diplomacy stronger where Prime Minister Narendra Modi has now embarked on these uh, this uh, ambitious visit. Uh, Simran, I think <coughs> besides the bilateral component of the visit, what many commentaries are missing is that both Singapore and Brunei, uh, Indonesia of course is an important part, but both Singapore and Brunei are an important part of security architecture in Indo-Pacific and for India. Brunei first, basically Brunei is an energy surplus, it's part of OPEC, energy exporting country. Uh, petroleum and gas and therefore it's the nearest country in our region from where we can import gas for our own energy needs and therefore if we are able to build up those kind of connectivity with Brunei I think it will be a big step in <clears throat> the direction of ensuring of our own energy needs and security besides Brunei being part it's a friendly country which mm -hmm. has always been India within ASEAN as well as uh, globally uh, I have worked very, very well with the Brunei representatives everywhere. And therefore, the visit will strengthen that friendship as well as build up on our own energy uh, architecture, security architecture. Coming to Singapore, uh, please do remember that Singapore is one of the most important central member of ASEAN. ASEAN, when it was formed in 1960, Singapore had just become independent and uh, from Malaya and they became part of really the whole regional architecture for economic cooperation, which then became a politically active regional organization when things began to happen in Indochina. Uh, also, please do remember that after 1990s, when ASEAN was considering the East Asia Summit as a security kind of a, a facet of ASEAN cooperation, it was Lee Kuan Yew who said that India and China are two wings of the same plane to basically navigate ASEAN in the country, in the, mm. in the region. So India, uh, for the first time, it was Lee Kuan Yew who essentially balanced India and China in the region. And that is Indo-Pacific. We have always maintained that ASEAN is central to Indo-Pacific, any decision taken on the Indo-Pacific. And therefore, I think the visit to Singapore underlines that very, very important part of our own security a parameters in the Pacific, our cooperation there. And I think there should be discussions on the role that ASEAN can play in building that kind of a multilateral architecture in Indo-Pacific. Besides, of course, there will be a whole lot of bilateral components, investments, $11.8 billion, 
सिंगापुर इन्वेस्टमेंट ट्रेड टेक्नोलॉजी कोऑपरेशन एक्सेट्रा 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 सिंगापुर इज द मोस्ट डेवलप्ड कंट्री इन द आशियन रीजन सो इट गोज विदाउट से बायोलैट्रल कोऑपरेशन विद मेनी मेनी पैसे एंड वील बिल्ड ऑन दैट सिमिलर of course very certainly ambassador suresh k goel as you have also made it very clear that for the asian and india's visit to uh, singapore and prime minister narendra modi's uh, uh, ambition to deepen the ties with singapore will indeed play a very crucial role i also have colonel js sodhi joining me on the broadcast i appreciate you joining us on the broadcast sir while there has been uh enough expectation from both these crucial visit what exactly india should also be expecting uh, you know on the cards further mr sodhi as we go uh, forward what are the key expectations that the indian base currently holds as far as you know these crucial visit is scheduled at this given point of time and with brunei they, these are this 40 years that india has now uh, completed and with singapore it is already very much more important as my another panelist ambassador suresh k goel has also said when the asian comes so mr sodhi what exactly the relations of india singapore and india brunei are poised uh, to take for even better strengthening Jahan Simran it's my honor to be on a news channel and a privilege to be with the esteemed core panelists prime minister modi's visit to brunei and singapore have got very uh, very uh, you know serious implications uh, in view of the china's growing assertiveness in the indo pacific region and especially in the south china sea well uh, india singapore and india and brunei have had very good relations in the past many decades and which is evident by the kind of you know trade and security arrangement we have with them uh, with brunei we have a trade of 1.95 billion american dollars as of last year and over 25000 indians uh, work in brunei whereas in singapore we have a trade of uh, 35.6 billion american dollars as of last year and 9% of the singaporean population comprises of indians historically both brunei and india we have we've had many very good relations but what is matter of concern now and what adds significance to prime minister modi's visit to both these countries is that both these countries like india are facing the aggressiveness of china these two countries are facing the south china sea and the indo pacific region and india is facing uh, on the lac so it becomes important that these three countries have great security ties with them not only these three countries the time of the uh, the need of the r is that every literal nation in south china sea should come together with india and usa and form a military alliance because as per the timeline which are there in public domain next 11 years will see three wars by china uh, 2027 uh, china will wage a war for taiwan in 2029 it will wage a war for spratly islands and in 2035 china and pakistan will wage a two front war in india for jammu and kashmir and arunachal pradesh hmm. hence with the three wars on the anvil it becomes very important that every literal nation in south china sea usa india come together to give a befitting reply whenever to china whenever the need so arises hence in view of this backdrop prime minister modi's visit to brunei and singapore assumes great importance and significance for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon